Hey, Jay, what the... F what? Hey, Jay, that was a no-no. I didn't hesitate. Oh, you also aimed for that! Oh, my God. No! 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 I can't stop down there, a son of a bitch! Why did you have to end it like that? Love to all, and welcome, everybody. My name is Black Hollow, and this is Telltales The Walking Dead. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and welcome all to what is going to be an amazing conclusion to Clementine's story. That is right, you didn't hear me wrong. This is the final season of Telltales The Walking Dead and I've been waiting months and months and months to jump into it. The first episode is here and the second one is going to release in about two weeks. Now, before we actually dive into it, I would just like to say if this is the first time that you have seen this game, then stop. Do not watch this video. Check the description down below for links to previous seasons, which all were live streamed here on YouTube. Uh, you can watch those at your leisure and get caught up on the story. But out of all of the decision based games that I play on the channel, be it Telltale or any other uh, production company, The Walking Dead has had a special place in my heart, unlike any other game. And knowing that this is the final season going into it kind of breaks my heart a little bit. But at the same time, it's almost like a. It's got, it's got the same kind of feeling I had when Breaking Bad uh, got towards the end of its storyline. It's, it's such a beautifully crafted uh, narrative of, of Clementine and everyone around her and everything that happens uh, in this universe of The Walking Dead that it, I, I can only imagine what they have in store uh, for the final pages of this journey. But you guys, like I said, I've been waiting months to get into this game. So I am not going to wait any longer. If you have not seen the other ones, please stop the video right now. Check the description down below and go get caught up. But for everyone else that's on the same page, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to jump into episode one. Title, I thought it was titled installed for a second there. <laughs> episode one, done running. <gasps> He's so big! Oh my god, and Clem, she's also so big! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm so excited right now. I am so excited right now. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna cry. Everybody, we're gonna start crying. I'm just throwing that out there. When the dead started walking, I was small and alone. <laughs> I'm already crying! <laughs> Clementine, I love you! Until a man named Lee became my protector. <laughs> Lee! Lee! <laughs> oh god! Why does it have to be over? God damn it! I want more! Oh no! But the memories! No! Other people too. Yeah! Some some but of them. Save everyone. No, not all of them. <sighs> Lee saved Carly. You can never save everyone. No, we couldn't. Bye, dog. The living were just as dangerous as the dead. Oh, this this and her shit and then she just couldn't come yeah she out. lost her shit <laughs> she took the life that lee saved <laughs> stop making me <laughs> <laughs> we let her stay with us we let her stay <laughs> i don't know why she showed her kindness but she took advantage of it later stupid fucking lily lee taught me how to survive he protected me as long as he could but he got bit because of me. God damn it, man. It... Even in the end, he was still teaching. <laughs> Lee! Yes, <laughs> Lee! Okay, I, I think I wanted to say keep your hair short, but I'm pretty certain that I ended up uh, going with always keep moving because I, I, feel, I felt like, you know, like she said, it, always keep teaching. This was the important thing to say. Always keep moving. Stay in motion. It's easier to hit a stationary target than it is to hit a moving target. So always keep moving. Always keep moving as much as you can. Move. God damn, man. He wouldn't make it. He knew it was the end. He made one final request. Oh. <sighs> he asked me to shoot him. Oh, Clem. And I did. <laughs> is it Clem? We met another group after that. And then she turned 10! Running from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr. AJ. This whole recap. AJ. Oh my god. She and didn't. didn't. No, <laughs> she didn't. Oh I my god. To take care of him. But then, Jane left AJ in the snow. 
We thought he was gone forever. Kenny! Was the last straw for Kenny. Oh my god. Around, I had to make the call. <laughs> <laughs> Why? God damn it! I shot Kenny! I stopped Kenny. <laughs> Why are you making me do it again? We gave him peace. Not me! Goodbye, Kenny. It turned out AJ was alive. Jane hid him to make a point. She made a point, all right. Knowing what they'd done. Oh. <laughs> had enough. We took AJ and left them behind. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked, but I was wrong again. Yeah, me too. They took AJ from me. Said I was too young to take care of him. That's just fucked up. I thought maybe they were right. I said my goodbyes. I regretted it later. This whole I recap is so good. Time, just when I gave up hope, I found him. We're searching together now for a place we can call home. You can do it, Clem! All AJ has. Yeah, you can do it! That's all I have. Oh, God. I'll protect him with my life. Oh, my Just God. Me. Dude. Dude, no! <laughs> oh my god, this game! Dudes, that recap was so good! That was so good! I imported my save earlier, and so like, I don't- I don't know why it had me pick choices and stuff, but I guess- I don't know, I don't know. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Goddamn Telltale. I know it going in, but you still make me cry. <laughs> Why? Game looks beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at how beautiful this game. Okay, well, I mean, he doesn't have skin on, but it's beautiful. It was very high resolution. This reminds me of when I used to play Nazi zombies. I'd always ask my friends, can somebody babysit the crawler while I go and get ammo? Oh, that hat. The, no, you gotta sew the D back on. Jesus, dude, this is just my feelings. I can't do this right now. What? What is he doing? What you doing there, goofball? Goofball? He's got a six shooter. Pretending we got bullets. He talks? Oh, don't. It's getting on my nerves. If you had bullets, that would be very irresponsible. I don't like goofball. Had a bullet hole in his fucking. Too big for it. <laughs> Shit, bird. Someone's all grown up. Huh. So I guess you're all grown up now. Yep. <laughs> well, let me drive. Okay, AJ. I'm not letting you drive. Okay. You getting hungry, buddy? What's wrong, AJ? Hungry. Uh, give magazine. No, give him the. I thought it was broccoli. There's chips. Uh, use the mouse to look around and select an object. I want to give him the chips that are right there, but I'm gonna give him the toy that looks like broccoli and see if he eats it. Junior, it's me, Disco Broccoli. Word on the street is that you want to eat me. Is that true? Do you want to eat me? Come on, Clem. I can't eat a toy. And it looks like broccoli. Man, my feelings are hurt. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Sassy. All right, then we go with the magazine. Here, practice your reading. Have some highlights. All the puzzles are already done. Wanna. It'll take your mind off your stomach. That's a good point. Preheat oven. Oh God, he's reading a recipe. Place cream, vanilla be beans. Into a saucepan and bring to a boy. Uh, on second thought, never mind. Just turn to the page that says "Where's Waldo?" and ignore the big circled guy. It's a different one that you're looking for. Here you go. About all we got. What about you? Go for it. We'll find something else soon. Add a girl, Clem. I believe you. I kind of do. It's more hope than belief. <laughs> oh my god, the game. 
It is so good to be back into this game, but goddamn, it's like every second I experience is another second closer to the end of the game, and I don't want it to be over. I want him to find the cure, and everybody lives happily ever after, man. Well, this seriously, the the, the like the beginning seasons of this game. It's probably if it wasn't for this game, I would not play decision based gameplay or or story based games. I wouldn't at all. This game lured me in. Hellraiser got it for me uh, one year for I believe it was for Christmas. I don't think it was for my birthday. It might have been for my birthday, actually, because I seem to remember there being a lot of candle wax at, like Did everywhere for my birthday cake because I'm so goddamn old. <laughs> I think so. Looks clear. I gotta go clear it. We're doing it. We're doing it. He, wait. He knows how to take down a walker? Bros. Friendly, ring the bell. No trespassing. <laughs> that's actually... That's really funny. Oh my god. Alright. I uh, definitely want to get the canteen for water. And the crowbar. We need water too. Yep. Yeah. Haven't had clean water in days. Alright, we're gonna look out for it then. Crowbar to get in. Front door is probably going to be batting down. And then why not grab the toy? Got a bullet hole through it. That's, uh, that, wait a minute. I can't take it? Okay. Uh, that's everything? Yeah. All right, let's back out. Dude, Clem's so old. It's crazy. She was, like, smaller than AJ the first time that we saw her. Let's find some food. Little by little. All right. Uh, use WASD. Oh, it's one of those parts. Okay, I see. Wait a minute. Can I ring the bell? I want to go back here and ring the bell. Can I ring the bell? I want to try ringing the bell. Can I ring this bell? Is this? Yeah. Friendly, ring the bell. What does it mean? It means to ring the bell if you're friendly. It means the people here shoot first. <sighs> we should probably ring the bell. All right. Uh, when you see that, consider the consequences before taking action. <gasps> oh, so you could ring the bell. I'm going to ring the bell. I'm going to follow the sign and I'm going to ring the bell. Why? Well, because that's what the sign says. Ring. Anybody home? I'm ringing the bell. All right, we got one walker. That's all I hear, though. Nice and easy. All right, people are alerted to us, but at least we followed the sign's rules. Clem can bat puppy dog eyes, hopefully, and not have anything uh, final happen to her. You know what I mean? Right? Oh, Mr. Walker! I have a knife for you. AJ, stay back. Yeah. Except if you want to take this guy down, I mean, I'd totally let you. I would totally 100% let you. All right, press E to stun or Q to kill. Stun! Kill! There we go. It's down. Still with me? Still here. No bite. Yeah, the boy. Next, we get in there. I hear footsteps on my left. Is that aging? The fuck? I just heard footsteps like right there. Maybe I don't I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that was some weird stuff from the cutscene or something. Shift to run. I'm glad that they put that in there. Examine the tire swing. Monster trap? <laughs> it's not a trap. You swing on it. It's for fun. Fun was for a thing fun. that we had right before the apocalypse happened. You get in the tire and someone pushes you so that you go really high. Yeah. Except the rope is really old and it's dangerous. Oh, okay, we could try. I mean, we've done worse. After we clear this place. Good idea, AJ. Good thinking. I taught you right. Okay. Uh, let me see here. So, we gotta get inside the building, but if there's one thing that Telltale is known for, it's uh, having little things that you can find here and there. Uh, so, I might as well venture around and see what there is. Yeah, give me the deer skull. There we go. Interesting. And there's a lot of optional things, too. So, in terms of... Uh, oh, wait. Did I actually put that in my pack? Did I did I pick that up? 
Yeah, I did. Nice. Possible hood ornament. Oh, I'm so happy I did that. Uh, there's certain areas in Telltale games where you'll like you'll, you'll see a cupboard or something like that. And you don't have to look in it. But if you do, you'll find an item that'll have this like tiny little side story. Um, so it's it's just really nice to to, you know, find those uh, find those little Easter egg kind of things. Uh, it looks like it's a table. It's all dark in there. I don't see anybody. So just open the door. Go inside. Hope for the best. Uh, I think it's a push door. Pry open door. How about push open door? We can try pushing open the door. Uh, press shift and Q at the same time. I am shifting and queuing. It worked. You ready, AJ? What do we do inside a new place? We listen for monsters. After that? Uh... Come on. You remember. We... Uh... Inside a new place? We... Always. Find a way out. Find a way out. There you go. That's right. That's right. Right? I hope that was right. I was looking at the other three. I was looking at the other, or the other two, rather. I was thinking about staying silent to see what AJ picked, but I felt like that might have been discouraging if he didn't remember it. And finding a way out is always important because if you get cornered, you need to know your way out immediately. That's, Monsters. that's a play All that you tigers. just go for. They can't get us? And they know how to make a square knot, then they can probably undo it. Hello. You guys have any canned food? I'm very hungry. No, they can't. Hmm. Your choices will determine what he will become. This one's locked. Security door. Hmm. Can't pry that open. I know you're hungry. I am too. We can find a way around. Find something. I promise. There's gotta be a way. There's also this tiny little slot looking thing right over here. Yeah, look at booth window. I mean, there is this thing right here. But passing AJ through that window is like... Let me try it one more time. Yeah, nothing. Passing AJ through this window, I don't know if it's very safe or not. Like, it just kind of... It reminds me of this other time that Clem did something very similar. Uh, not going to look at them. All right, yeah, AJ, let's... uh, Here, let's just shove you through the tiny little thing. Too small to crawl through. But AJ... See anything? The other side of the door? Looks like some cans. Could still be edible. One of us might be able to fit through there. Is that the only way in? I think so. Let's look around. I could go outside. Let's be smart. Yeah, let's be smart. Good idea, AJ. That's right. Good idea. Uh, the only other thing that I could think of is like an outer window or something like that. Let me peek through the. Uh, let me peek through here. Yeah, I think I see outdoor textures. Yeah, I definitely see a window around back. Okay. Uh, but that would lead to like you know breaking a window and making a lot of noise. Can I go outside right now? Yeah. All right. Let me use the water fountain if I can get anything out of it before we go outside. And nada. It wouldn't be that easy. Would it? No, it wouldn't. But I mean, it's worth a try. There's got to be some eventually that we find that'll work. Doesn't look like there's anything else around. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Look at the table. Well, for their last meal. Yeah, but now they're ridiculously atrophied and tied to a table, so. Doesn't appear that food makes any sort of a difference. What is this? A jar? Jar of what? Beans. Beans. Homemade. Okay, seeing as how there's only two of us, we probably don't want the uh we probably don't want to be eating beans. You know, they're the wonderful fruit that make you toot. Didn't see any food out there. Well, let me go out. No, there's gotta be a way around, Clem. Why? Okay, alright. Well, I guess we gotta do it the old fashioned way. Uh, let me look at the walker couple really quick and see if they maybe have a key in their pocket. Oh, read the note. Please leave us alone. This is what we wanted. Okay, um, do you have a key though? The least you could have done was, you know, leave that open. Oh shit, poison. Why would you take the poison route, man? Poison. Did they give up? Yeah. They wanted to leave this world together, holding hands in their own home. I did chairs. Will we have a home? We'll see. 
Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling he was going to do that. Okay. Um, well, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to kill these guys. Uh, the key or the window. The key or the window? I... <sighs> Let's see what AJ has to say. It's dark in there. It is dark in there, and I want to go in there with you. We should kill the monsters. They're not people. You know, AJ, like, I kind of agree with you. They used to be people. And as people, they asked to be left alone. So what's best? Safety for the living. Safety for the living. Safety for the living is best, in my opinion. If these guys actually came back as people, do you really think they would want to go to their day-to-day -day activities and run their adulting errands looking the way that they do? No, they will not. They. I'm sorry. I appreciate the note. You guys have chilled here for, based on your cheekbones, a good year and a half. All right? You got, you got, you got some time together. As a matter of fact, you can tell by their body language. They're leaning away from each other. This is passive-aggressive uh, a zombie argument going on right here. They don't want to be together anymore. We're going to kill the couple. I'll get the key. It's the easier way to do it. And AJ has a point. Like, they're... You can think about it however way you want to. I'm just not going to send AJ in there alone, yo. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I need that key. Hey, if I could cut your arm off and then take the key, I would totally do it. But looks like the only thing I can really do is go for the head. You two, you don't even have a key. Well, I guess you'll be together. Come on. Sorry, guys. Back going from the top. Good job. Thanks, AJ. I thought so too. <sighs> yeah, I would have just like arm barred the fucker and grabbed the pushed him back from behind the elbow like well I guess you could risk a scratch he's got long sleeves and denim though so I don't know would you want to risk it though I guess if I were actually in that situation I probably wouldn't have done that the arm bar thing not the killing him I totally would have still killed him huh. they had a good thing going here they did can we stay here we'll see Wonder how they... No one's here. No one's ever anywhere. It's always just monsters. I'm here, kiddo. I know. Oh well. You saying I'm not someone. That's not what I mean. I understand, AJ. Wonder what made him come to the decision of. Uh... Just a few. AJ's a great you shot. What we said. Know this. Save the last bullet for yourself. Oh my god. Never hesitate. Never. Never hesitate. He knows to aim for the head. That's right. That's like ingrained. Right. Let's keep looking. Never Maybe hesitate. We can eat. Hope so. Never hesitate. How you doing, AJ? You good? Uh huh. Just hungry. Good talk. Tumbly in your tumbly. <laughs> no, just regular hungry. Just regular. He is growing up. Grumbly in your tummy? No, I need fucking nutrition right now. Get me a carrot or celery or another vegetable. Nothing in this can. <gasps> the peaches! It's a peaches can. Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. All of them? Fuck. <laughs> hey, watch the swears. Yeah, you're a kid, kiddo. I meant shoot. Yeah, you damn. You fucking right. You meant shoot. What? It rolls? It's a can. Oh, it's a bed. Move the mat. Anything else I can do? There's other things I can do. <gasps> oh, there's a trap door thing down there. Uh, let me see what else is in here first before I act. Ah, oh, the fucking crib, man. Didn't see a kid. I didn't either, and that's probably why no, they. Uh, no, we didn't. Yeah. Might be why they. Yep. Gave up. That's what I was about to ask a second ago was, you know, what actually brought him to the conclusion of wanting to give up. And I think we, I think we found out what it was. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here except for the mattress. So let's go for it. Something under here. Like some sort of a trap door or something like that. W. There we go. Nice. 
floor door? Huh, yeah. I must have wanted to hide something. You lots of cues, several cues. Hey. <laughs> There's the food. That's a lot of stuff. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. We could eat for weeks with this much. Oh! <gasps> run! Fucking run! God damn it, dude. All the food. All the food, man. AJ. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Yep. 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 The moment I saw that grenade, I'm like, now nah, we have a problem. Dude, the art style in this is so good. Monster. Oh no. Oh shoot. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you he said oh fuck if I <laughs> if I pick the other option there. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm listening to you, AJ. Here we go, buddy. I love how I just ran into him. Use E to break him up. E Q. Back, 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 I saw the Q and I hit Q, and the moment I hit Q, it went away. Why? No. Clem, why? Okay, it has definitely been a little bit since the last time I played this game. All right, let's see here. So we can run it the same way we did before. Stun, kill, wait for this guy to come up and do his weird shit, and then we just do a whole lot of Qs, whole lot of Qs. Boom, E, got him. Nice and easy. Now, how do I get this guy without him killing me? Because I didn't want to walk in front of him. There we go. Okay, is it like back here or something? There we go. I was trying, like, I was approaching him from the side, but I was a little bit too much on the side, I guess. I'm just throwing this out there. The bell didn't do shit. Go, go, go. Ah! Get the knife! Clem! Ah! There we go. Use the... Don't use the car key. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like you gotta kill him, but you also have to start the car later. All right, let's shut the door. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Drive, Clem. Drive. I'm holding W so much. Shift gears. Shift. Shift. Sh what do I do? Is the brake. W! W! Oh my god. I don't know which way we're going. What? what? Is that a lightsaber? Oh, it's a Bowie knife. Okay, never mind. <laughs> like he was handing me a lightsaber. AJ! No! This would be way easier if I had a lightsaber. I'm just throwing that out there right now. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck is this intro? Ah! Okay. Zombie dead. Kinda. They're stuck in his head. God damn it, Clem. We talked about this. We talked about this. This is not safe. I don't think Lee would approve. Q. Q. Come on, spark plugs. Oh my god, they're fucking everywhere, dude. Please. And also kill zombies whenever you can. Oh my god, what is happening? Dude, they're everywhere! What the fuck? I'm queuing so hard right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. You can do it! Okay, he didn't do it. That's actually probably a good thing. He probably would have shot me. Um. Okay, so slight problem. Oh, what the fuck are the arrows, my dudes? Don't take him. No, don't take him. Please. You fucking kidding me? I had him for five minutes.
minutes. God damn it. I'll find you, AJ. I think. <laughs> no. What the fuck is this episode, dudes? Oh, why do I subject myself to these emotional trials? Telltale presents, in association with Skybound Entertainment, one of the most amazing games out there. Oh god, and I'm gonna have to skip this because it's gonna get copyrighted if I, if I if I put the intro credits in there. Telltale's The Walking Dead, the final season. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to cut out that that uh, that intro or the the song sequence there, you guys, because they usually get copyrighted. But oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Hey, Clem, where'd you get the band-aid? <laughs> oh, shit. No, oh, she's probably cuffed her right arm, or her left arm's extended. Why did they cuff her left arm? You're supposed to cuff the right arm. She's cuffed, isn't she? She's totally cuffed to the bed. Because there definitely wasn't a bedroom inside of that car. Or a ceiling fan. Or band-aids, for that matter. Yeah, you are cuffed. I knew it. Or strapped, whatever. Whatever they could find, I guess. Makes more sense to, to bind the, uh, tear off the tape. I don't know if that's such a good idea, considering the fact that we, uh, are, are being held captive. Ah, what the? What the fuck kind of a sec Why? Why? That's just, that's just gonna piss someone off. If you're gonna tie him to a bed, you better make sure they can't untie it. Holy crap. What is this? I don't know, but they're lax on security. I'm just going to throw that out there right now. Who puts spent duct tape with the tear already in it? Like, as the as the restraint on a stranger. All right, let's open up the uh, first aid kit. Or take a look at them, rather. Whatever the case may be. You redress the band-aid? No? Okay, we'll do that later. Uh, look out the window. What do you see? We couldn't, like, venture too far from... It was, there's two of us, and I was unconscious, or Clem was unconscious, so there's no way that we're that far from where we were at. What's this? It had memories on it. Oh, baby looks like AJ. I think it's time we went and found the people who own this house. Or are staying here. One of the two. All right, let's see. Uh, nada. Anything over here by chance before I venture out into the world? Look at the scrap. Nah, I already looked at the scrapbook. Um, I think that's it. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Open the closet. I don't almost want a weapon or something like that. What is that? Like a fish and tackle box? Am I going to have to actually grab it? Yeah, examine it. Look at the box. Ah, oh, fuck. Go get a chair. I hope. Can I pull one of these chairs? Yeah. It's like, I'm pretty sure there's two chairs in the room. But I actually have to... <laughs> I actually have to push it over. That's fun. Alright, that should be good right there. And now, Clem, you may finally see what is in Pandora's box. Just remember, don't look at it. Because you'll probably die. Probably gonna be a bunch of colored pencils and like, or a knife, or do. or a knife. I don't actually know if it was a knife or not. Is that a pot leaf on the box? This you know mushroom. I don't know what they kept in there. All right, we have a palette knife now. We have a palette knife. Use the palette knife. Do I have to do this? Do I have to use the knife on the door? Because they said that whenever those little icons pop up, be wary or whatever of the consequences. So they made it sound like it was an optional thing. I guess not. Maybe sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. Oh my god, look at the S. Look at the little S thing back there. You guys remember doing that in like third, fourth grade? No, I'm too old. Okay. All right, I'll just keep to myself. <laughs> uh, let me check in here. Anything I can check. Fuck you. Okay. Well. That's, uh... It's very, very, very uh, direct way to put it. Um, is that AJ? No, it's somebody else. Um, I don't know how good of a hiding spot that actually is, Clem. Wait, what? Oh 
Oh, it's the one. It's the the baby from the photos that looks like AJ. I think. Disarm him. He's a kid, man. I'm right here. <gasps> Put down the knife. But you do the same. I was gonna disarm a kid. We're not gonna hurt you. We've got your boy, he's safe. I'll take you to see him. Just put down the knife. Alright. I don't plan on being shot by an arrow today. Your turn. I don't think he'll do that. He did it! Nice mullet. I guess it is the apocalypse, so who's gonna, you know, shit on you for that? Oh my god! We're not gonna hurt you. What the fuck happened to other AJ's face? He got Tomorrow, burned, dude. The little guy's Tennessee. Ten, for short. He's the one been taking care of you. I probably gave him a good scare then. He uh doesn't talk much. Clementine. Sorry about locking the door and Tying you to the bed and all. You did a shitty job. We were in a pretty rough shape when we found you. you gotta take precautions. I understand. She's unconscious. You can't ask her anything. No need to explain. Like you said, I was in pretty rough shape. Yeah, to say the least. It must have been tough out there for the both of you. Anyway, I didn't mean to scare you. Just being cautious. Sorry if it came across the wrong way. But you're eh. safe now. And so is your friend. Come on. Let's go see your boy. Thank you. I was going to say, like, if we don't go see him right now, I'm going to become immediately suspicious. I still want to know what happened. Oh, my God. He got... It looks like it's... It looks like it's a lot of scratches, but I think it's a burn. I think it's a burn scar. I thought for a second that was AJ, and they gave him a haircut. I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Been growing that out forever. Like, nope. What the fuck? It's other people. You've been surviving out there a while, huh? Yeah, we've been on the road a long time. Take it you know how to handle yourself? More or less. Don't usually see people our age alone out in the wild. You sound surprised. I'm like, you think I can't handle myself? I didn't mean oh, it no, like no, that. Not at all. Sorry. Didn't mean to come off that way. I didn't either. Honestly, I think it's pretty cool. Okay. Moment saved. I was just going to say, like, has he never met outsiders before? There's a lot of people that are surviving on the outside. Like, not in a camp, not in a structured area. With walls and whatnot. It's good we found you when we did. It wasn't easy getting you two out of that wreck. Walkers were on the way. Yeah, a grenade was a total went off. Yeah. It was pretty loud. Fire. Had to work fast. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't seen the smoke. I uh, appreciate it. All alone with the kid? Not a pleasant thought. Uh, some rough scenes. Hi there. Uh, hi there. Okay, bye. What's his problem? You're just new. I mean, we haven't seen anything like you and ever. Hmm. What is this place? Looks like a school. Probably tell it used to be a school. Hey. Now it's whatever we want it to be. <laughs> and who's in charge? Uh, well, I am. It probably sounds strange, kids run by a kid, but we do all right for ourselves. I believe it. Good walls, good defenses. You ever read Lord of the Flies? No one really comes out this way anymore. Huh? Only kids. That actually sounds kind of awesome. You think so? I like it myself, but I'm probably a little biased. The fact that you're actually wearing a Letterman's jacket right now really drives the point home that there's no adults here. A lot of us, but I don't know how it goes. Feels bad. I got us a system in place that works well enough. Allow me to make it formal. Welcome to Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Is that the name before? Or... Feels like you both fit that description. Okay, after. All right. It's hard to survive too long these days without being a bit. Didn't start that way. I was pretty good as a kid before everything changed. Made a lot of trouble since then. Yeah. 
We all had Mom had a treehouse. She was normal. I'd say that goes double for your boy. Super normal. <laughs> it's been a little terror since he arrived. Excuse me? Let's just say he hasn't been happy without you around. At all. Yo! Marlin! We got walkers on the fence! Say it louder so they come closer! Take care of this. Knowing Willie, it's probably two grandma walkers and an angry squirrel. You got bigger fish. I just want to go make sure AJ's okay. He's with Lewis. Lewis? Oh, right. Uh, just listen for the music. You'll find him. Okay. Sounds good. Move on, Willie. Where's your damn weapon? Why are you guys yelling? Hi. Why, why is everybody yelling? The apocalypse. We need to be sneaky. We need to be snoop, s s super sneaky. Very super sneaky. Okay, listen for the music. Let's go find AJ. At this point, I just want to know that he's okay. Too much of the story has been invested in Clementine and AJ being separated. And we're five fucking minutes in. Okay, we're not five minutes in. We're like 40 minutes in. We're 40 minutes into this episode, and AJ's already fucking separated. Follow the music. Check. It's piano. I was wondering what kind of instrument it was going to be. I was expecting to hear like... Is it like a, like a third eye blind cover band? <laughs> you know, like way off in the distance. Like Jimmy Eat World or something like that. How funny would that have been? Uh, before we actually go, I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything down here because this is the. Hey, what's this over here? Oh, little motherfucker. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey, what? Uh, about time you woke up. Hi. Your little boy just bit me. What the f? He's lucky I didn't take a boot to his head. Nearly took a chunk out of me. Doesn't sound like him. I don't believe you. I don't... AJ wouldn't do something. It just like doesn't that. sound like him. I'm telling you, he would. And he did. Is he over that you way? You got the nerve to say you don't believe me? Screw you. I just woke up. I have a band-aid on my head. Show me where the kid is at. I'll go talk with him. Fucking A. He probably just wants to see me anyway. Doesn't sound like AJ. Hello? Knock, knock. Things out of tune, FYI. Clem. Hi, AJ. You're okay. Now let me check your teeth for human flesh. I've heard things. I was afraid you were. Tickling. Okay. Go, 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 go. What ticklish? <laughs> <laughs> but AJ, listen to me. That girl out there says you bit her. Is that true? Uh, answer me, Aj. Aj, did you bite her? That's a that's a bad thing. I didn't mean to. She snuck up on me. Okay. Still, no more bites. No more bites. We'll have to talk with her later. You're not dead. That's good. Yeah. Goal for the day accomplished. Watch the kid for you. My name is Aj. Excuse me. Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. Well, not no problem. He was a bit of a handful. Yeah, that's AJ. But I got off light compared to what Ruby went through. Oh, you he mean like the scars? Don't ever do it. <laughs> Dude, his face. <laughs> Loud and clear, little man. <laughs> Don't ever do it. Oh my god. I'm Lewis. Nice to meet you, Lewis. Clementine. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. What's Mom that? left your bag in here somewhere. Okay. Is that the bag oh, over there? I've got it. What did I have left in it? I think I just had the, uh... No, I didn't take the toy. I used the crowbar, so the crowbar still got to be in there. Um... Mm-hmm. They gave me the knife. Or they let me retain possession of it, rather. And my hat! I got my hat. Does it still have the D on it? Yes, it does. Here you go, AJ. Um. What? Double um. Double does um. Does he know what that is? What the fuck do you mean? Does he know what that is? Maybe later. Back you go. Where it belongs. Dude, that can't be a good idea. What are you talking that about? Things bigger than him. Things bigger is than. Is it actually loaded? He's a better. Yes. Sh he's a better shot than you. He's a better shot than you. Hey. I was just saying, man. You guys do your thing, I guess. Like, I'm not going to say my gun, my rules. I'm in their house. But straight up, well, if they let me one. keep the equipment. You're armed. Oh, my darling. Oh, my 
<laughs> I won't interrupt him. at the kid today? I don't know it's loud it's loud it is loud is bad nah, not always not always compress this key come on give it a try go ahead AJ press it like seriously when the fuck are you gonna be able to do this again it's a goddamn piano it's a piano good job compress this one and this one you're a natural. Hey. You seen Rosie? Nope. Shit. We've got a bit of a situation out there. Grandma Walker's uh, in the squirrel. To ask you just coming to and all, but could really use a hand. Yeah, yeah. Taking out a few deadheads. Let's do it. Q's and E's. Lewis, I'm ready. Gear. It's going to be funny cuz AJ's probably right. going to save Lewis's life or something like that. Yeah, I didn't want to interrupt this song. Like the best thing you can do for a musician is just sit back and smile and let them let them play, let them do their thing. That and I thought it was fucking hilarious that he Rosie! busted that song out. Where the hell is she? You give her her weapon back. Good. We're gonna need you to put it to use. That's some serious got a trust. Party out there trying to get back inside. Need our help to clear the way. Seems to be a few more than usual these last couple days. Probably from the grenade blast. Yeah, a grenade. Like, I don't know, an explosion grenade. or a car crash. Also, Bye. also probably, yes. But, just saying. Sorry. There's gotta be some explanation. I'm sorry, it's a fact. I didn't know any of that was gonna happen. Sorry if it caused you guys problems. Uh, um. Hello, Clementine. I'm Violet. Nice to meet you. What he said. All right, boys and girls. I would have introduced myself, but I felt like an apology was better. Be careful out there. Don't mind Violet. She uh grows on you. I promise. Is that because she hasn't showered in a month? Oh, this? It's a chair leg. I call it Cheryl's. Ah, ah, it's funny. It's got like nine nails sticking out of it. What are you gonna go do with that? I mean, you gonna go do what I think you're gonna do with it? Because there's like baseball bats too. I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Dude, okay. I need an AJ. I need see someone to just side. be like, hey, if I'm making a dumb play, can you just like shout at me, please? And also be a better shot than me. Great, thanks. Okay, she's Cleaver. There's Cheryl's. We got fucking watered down Daryl with the compound bow. Or the recurve, rather. Kill the walkers. I only have two of them. Right, what happens if I stun one, and then if I fall back, do they group up a little bit better? Anything? Anything at all? I stun this guy, and then I kill him. And then I can just go ahead and stun this guy and kill him. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't understand English, you fuck. He's a zombie. Okay, well, that's just knowing the map. That's just knowing the map. Now, what would happen if that... Oh, my God. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do. Okay, all right. So, I think... I think the first one we do is right here. Let me stun you. Okay, and then we do this. And you get smushered. And then we can do that to you. Except I can't get you back there. I can stun you and your friend, though. Can I kill him outright? Yeah, I can. Nice. Don't always need to stun. That's good to know. And then we cut the rope. Bye-bye. Nice. Looks like they made it back in one piece. Come on. Meet him halfway. Nice. Wait, do we still Okay, we still have uh, zombies to clear apparently. Can I get a twofer? Can I get a twofer? <laughs> I got one. But it was a different trap than I thought it was gonna be, so maybe if I got the other trap, I would've gotten two. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, okay, well, he did the other thing. I'm like hitting E, 
And it didn't let. No! What? I was, I went around the corner to stun him, but it didn't give me the E. I didn't have the E option. Why? Yeah, meet him halfway. Yeah, I know, I know. He didn't give me the stun option. Why no stun? Okay, all right, here's what I'm gonna do for this one then. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna stun you. Then we'll wait for both these guys to be right there, and then we cut the rope. Can I get two of them? Only one, only one. But now this one is in front, so I can, oh, come on. Come on, what you talking about? What? What's up? Do I actually have to use the tr What is it? I, I don't. What? Looks like they made it back to one They're just grabbing me. I don't have the command prompts that I've been instructed to use. Why? Why I have no command prompts? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stun you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna take a step back. Okay, he's gonna. I'm gonna get the same thing again, aren't I? No, no, I didn't. I didn't. I hit E. I hit E. Clem, I I don't know what to, I, I am super duper trying. I'm, okay. So something tells me that that other zombie isn't part of the animation. I, th I think it's actually a zombie that's on the map right now. I might be wrong, I don't know. Let's just cut the rope and see what happens. God damn it, I've never failed so much at Telltale. All right, wait for it. Wait for the next one. Wait for the next one. Can I, now I can stun him. Now I can stun him. Why that no happen before? All right, now I stun you. Now I kill you. And then this guy's getting pretty goddamn close. So I just want to back off a little ways. Can I stun? Yeah, okay, great. I don't know why it wasn't giving them to me before. Maybe because I was too close to the tree? Maybe that's what was wrong. Go! Over here! Nice timing. We're not going to be able to hold them off much longer. The fuck did you kill a cat? Where'd all these walkers come from? We can talk when we're back oh, they're rabbits. They're very big jackrabbits. Eyes open, ears open. You know, you're not half bad considering the circumstances and all. What the circ- Thanks. Thank you. I I appreciate that. Let's finish these guys off. We don't need them attracting more walkers back to the school. Let's do it. How many do I have? I've got one with an arrow in it. Can I reclaim the arrow Minecraft style? I would really like to reclaim the arrow. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god. Find you! No! Oh, that was okay, that was a little uh that was a little close there. I was already queuing. I was already queuing. <gasps> Ducky! Du oh my god. Hi Morph Morph. Hi, puppy. Good girl. Where's your good puppy? Hey, see you and Rosie are making friends. You're your good girl. Had a bad experience with the dog ones. Well, Rosie here can help you get over. Ah! She's as cuddly as they come. Oh, I, ah. well, except when she's mauling walkers. <laughs> oh, yeah, I believe it. That walker came out of nowhere. Oh shit. All right, all right fun's over. Let's get inside. One second of complacency, sticking an arrow into a dead guy on a tree. And he almost becomes a dead guy on a tree. How do you think it went? Be nice, Asim. Safe stone's nearly dry. I could barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. Because it's coming. We'll talk about it later. You know, winter. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Oof. Still standing, I see. Yeah, for the most part. I'd call that a B plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. What's her name again? Violet? Off. B minus then. <laughs> Clem here. That was a solid A. A plus even. I tried. Don't be jealous, Vi. You did great, Violet. Ass, Violet. A plus. You actually like you slayed you slayed one of the zombies that was getting close to me at the end of that log run, the one that was giving me troubles there. Dude, fucking Rosie. Oh my god. Personal protection pit bull for the zombie apocalypse. Jesus, man. That's a big ass dog. You know it eats its protein. Oh, you know it gets down on some bone marrow. We're alive. They're pretty good with the monsters. Come on, y'all. Food's here. <laughs> 
AJ. Uh, shake it off. Oh, come on, mouse. No mouse. Okay, there we go. My mouse wasn't working. God damn it. I'm really sorry about that. I'm so sorry about that. It, it happens sometimes. He's a jumpy little guy. Yeah. You gonna be okay? Yeah, sorry about that. Your balls. He can't go around punching people into. Expect me to the same table. You can only punch half of us in that particular area. I mean, same general area, but the anatomy. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. Surviving. Well, the same thing we're doing. Surviving. But we don't eat monsters. Yeah, but if we could, we probably would. I wouldn't. Whatever you say. I wouldn't. I believe it. Gross. Some people would, some people wouldn't. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. <laughs> AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you, but we should go talk to them. But, but I don't think they like me. I can just tell. They don't. They just don't know you. They don't know you, AJ. I'll bet when they do, they'll like you just as much as I do. I don't know. Marlin was really mad. And that girl I bit, she yelled at me. They're really scary. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. <sighs> so we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. That's a good idea. Make AJ feel at home. Help AJ make friends. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Who does AJ want to be friends with? Um, Can I actually talk to the, like, to the people he's affected so far? Not yet. There's that girl up there. Yeah. Yeah. Want to talk to her? You mean, say I'm sorry? Aren't you? Yes. Aren't you sorry, though? Like, because if you are, it shouldn't be too hard to say it. I always seem so mad. Because she got bit. You can do it. You just gotta... Tell her you were scared. Tell her why you did it. Because of my thing? Yep. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest. You're a kid that grew up in the fucking apocalypse. You can be scared if something walks up behind you. Yeah, I, I would I would argue it is justified. Yes. I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, I do that, but I don't mean to. I just I just get scared and I'm sorry and I hope your finger is okay. Really nice. Oh shit, sure, it's alright. We can all get a little crazy when we get scared. Thank you for your honesty and your apology. Yay! You sure did. Can I go talk to her? Can I say anything to her? AJ's got kind of a friend now. Can I talk to you at all? No, I guess not. Okay, all right. Ruby accepted the apology. Uh, get, now, now, now what? I'm supposed to help him make friends. Is that is that the conclusion of friends? Are we done? Are we done with friends now? I'm what not the? Sure fuck? Anyone would pledge to that. <laughs> it's literally Lord of the Flies. Oh my god. Uh, let's go over here to the right. What's up with these guys? Julian? Is that his name? Mm, yes. Louis. Hey guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Okay, Emerald. AJ's hanging out there now, right? Yeah, okay, AJ's there. Wait, I can't act. Do I? No, yeah, it's the same thing. Same thing as before. So now, let's go have a chat with Admin. Hello. Or a theme. Hello. <laughs> One. Oh, hey. It's you two. <laughs> Clementine, right? Yeah. Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm, like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. 
That's a good way to look at it. He seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back to safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She. Hey, huh? zip it. That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? So it was just sitting there. I want to know what it says. Give it back, AJ. Okay. Give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. Gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. I respect that. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know, bye. <laughs> okay, like, the wording was poor, but the way you delivered it kind of made it work a little bit better. So, I'll let you get off easy this time. Alright, let's go talk to Marlin and his balls. I'm not ready. You're not ready. We talked to not everybody. Yet. Okay. We talked. Let's talk to someone else. Who? Who? Who we talk to then? Somebody over here? Sprint over here. Yeah, there we go. Always oh, got to be more people. Hey guys. Oh no, he's got flowers and he's sad. Somebody died. Our graveyard. Yeah. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. It's important. Should we do that too? Hmm. I've never seen anyone do that. Let's do it. I gotta yeah. teach you how. I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. AJ can decide whether he wants to do that for people he loses in the future, but if you don't teach him what it is, then Clem, if he looks for that closure, yeah, I'm ready. he'll have an empty feeling because he won't know what to do. To talk to Marlin. Okay. Okay. Looks like he uh, doesn't really want to throw up anymore. That's really good when that uh, when that feeling passes. What's up, guys? Sorry about your nuts. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Yeah, he's got a really tough elbow. Careful, he bites. <laughs> he's a good kid. I'm the lucky one. He's just naturally good. Naturally good. That's rare stuff. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Oh, AJ, he's so good at puppy dog eyes. Don't sweat it. Up to me by teaching me your technique. Go for the balls. You, regular heavyweight. Uh, probably not because you're not hey, supposed Graham, to go below the belt AJ, for them. Just zombie apocalypse. Go for the balls. Always go for the balls. You guys, earn your supper after all. By punching you in the balls, I'll take it. I will take it. What are we eating? I need. I need meat. I need lots of steak. Could you imagine going like three days without eating? But. Then coupled with the Ladies apocalypse environment, low water, Thanks. strenuous activity. I can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mm, this is really good. In like normal bowls with flatware, even not like sticks in a leaf. Come on. Uh, he um, uh, manners, AJ. <laughs> Where are your manners, AJ? Night. What? Why is she so fucking Good catty? Good night. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. Ah, oh, damn, man. You can have the rest. Are you sure? I had a feeling someone was going to do that. I'm all done. <laughs> mm -hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something 
very important. What's that? Oh God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. Uh, I think I know what it is, but I've never played it. Just game. to make sure. The card game I've played had less people. Don't worry. It's, we'll pick it up as we go. It's the higher card wins, it's right? Easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Gets to ask Clem a question. What? What? I want to get to know you. We all do. Yeah, I'm holding a knife at your dinner table. I should probably like reveal a couple personal facts about myself. Wait, what about AJ? Uh, what about him? with how much he ate, he's probably Looks pooping. Like he's made a friend. Yay! Okay, good, good. No, this is great. Let's play card games. This is great. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Total game of chance, then. I can't, like, play the game. It's just gonna be... It's just gonna be what happens. Way to go, me. And then you... So, about AJ. You hand the cards over, right? And whoever, whoever ends up with the full deck. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They didn't make it. They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. For the most part. Clem seems kind of like... Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? Yeah, what do you want to know, Clem? Oh shit, it's my choice. Uh, Marlon's haircut, worst injury witnessed, met anyone... Met anyone famous? Grossest thing he- What? No, my mouse! Fuck my mouse! I hate my mouse! Did you see how it moved up? You'd figure a movie star or something- I didn't make that movement! They had like millions of dollars. They're probably living in a bunker with butlers and waterbeds- Hate my mouse. I can't wait to smash it with a fucking hammer when I get my new mouse in in two days. Baseball player. Like, for money. That's cool. I used to love baseball. Was he good at it? Dunno. We never got to play. He was good with a bat, though. I baseball believe it. Sucks. You suck. <laughs> Not as much as baseball. Oh my god, that cold stare that she gave at the very end there. <laughs> she just holds the awkward silence. I hate baseball. Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? I knew you were gonna ask oh that eventually. God. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. Um, me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Oh, I'm sure she's real surprised about that one. I met a boy one time. And? And we were friends. Just friends. Nothing else? Nothing at all? I mean, Clem did kind of have feelings for him. I don't know what you'd call them. But I had some sort of feelings for him. Maybe not exactly love, but... Something. Rhythm of life gets thrown off in the apocalypse, I guess. You gotta so, learn as you go. Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Um, my friend Lee. Let's talk about Lee. The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> what did he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? Uh, how to let go. How to say goodbye. I mean, people can answer the badass answer, but at the end of the day, if you don't know how to say goodbye, you're going to have I a long, again. hard road ahead you of you. Ask away. Um, grossest thing ever eaten this time, and I'm putting it in the middle so that if my mouse does that weird fucking thing, like it doesn't pick anything else. Okay. Uh, my God, I hate my mouse. Grossest thing you've ever eaten. Do not buy a Razor Mama Tournament Edition, everybody. Don't do it. Come on, dude. I fucking hate cantaloupe. What? I 
I ate a guy's leg once. Oh, <gasps> that's right. I'm kidding. No, you're not. Are you? She didn't put it in her mouth. It was on the plate. <laughs> Which is the actual truth. Oh my god. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. Okay. Out of the four of us, who do you think is going to die first? Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> oh, I know. Um. Anyone but me. Any one of you, but certainly not me. So sure. Maybe yeah. this far. Yep, yeah, then that's why. So have we. But you got walls. I wasn't going to alienate and pick I someone. I was just going to be confident in my own survival. Maybe not word it like that. Actually, just say, I know it's not going to be me. Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask, ask it! Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. Like the same hour. That sounds like a rough day. <laughs> yeah, worst day of my life. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. It was your question. Let's go, AJ. Did I have a backup? Refer to the backup in case for some reason things uh, feel odd. Tonight. Long day, huh? Yep. Say that. I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. Just relax. Get some sleep. I'm human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. Roger Dodger. I actually really like this group a lot. A lot of the groups have these adult problems that Clem runs into that she wouldn't know about. Problems that they carry over from like before everything happened. And this group, you've got a lot of kids that are self-governing and actually finding a way to make it work in a school nonetheless. Fucking poetic. And uh, and, and AJ has a, has a contemporary. He has a friend. These are all things that add to the assets of the base, in addition to everybody being young, spry, um, fit, and able to defend themselves. It's a good, it's a good mix. Wisdom isn't necessarily there, but wisdom has already been imparted to Clementine over, you know, the last however long it's been, what, like five years? Oh, shit. It's the box with the pot leaf on it. Yeah, if you find any mushrooms, just stay away from them. It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like tin? Oh my god, if yeah, AJ becomes an artist. Huh. I like to do pictures too. <gasps> oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. It's the thing we have. Where the hell is it? It's this thing, isn't it? Oh, what? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh... And sister? Kansas. Okay, yeah. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so... I was going to... That's probably uh, where they ration sorry, it. Sorry, we didn't know. No, no. It's... It's fine. Don't... Don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. So this used to be her room, AJ then. AJ wants to play with it. It's... It's fine. And there's not pencils in there to... To share. Um. Oh, God damn it. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. The owners are here, and that's Thanks, the difference buddy. between this and everything like else. Ken wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. I'm sorry, AJ. God damn. That f I did. You finish your drawing, though. No part of me mind. ever wants to, like, stamp out an artist or some kid discovering art. Huh. Fuck, that I hurts. But, like, the sister's dead. G gotta give it back. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. 
I always liked this room. Sophie had like paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis though. She had actual talent. <laughs> 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 he had the most amazing voice, real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. Post apocalypse, how cool that would that be? After they afterwards Brody and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Ah uh... I'm like great friends. Oh, they sound like they were great friends. I wanted to ask her yeah, if she minded us being Sophie here. Was a good friend. And Minnie, uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person, you know? I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. Me too. Yeah, me too. First impressions aren't exactly my strong suit either. Oh. Right. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. I want to see. Show me, show me. I want to see it. Not bad. Aww. Though. It would have been funny if we just saw the Mona Thanks Lisa the sitting box. there. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. He is pretty cool. See ya. Yeah, see ya. I'm glad I kept her on that thought of uh Okay, Alvin Jr. Time for bed. Just positivity. Okay. Thinking of the good memories. For Clem from AJ. For, me, for the wall to make our home look nice. <gasps> That's a good He idea. tried really hard. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking telltale. You're gonna make me cry. God damn it! I already know you're gonna wreck all this beauty. Me protecting Clem. Collectibles can be found in the world to decorate your room. <gasps> this is our room? Wait, what? AJ? Oh, okay. Wait, AJ, you have a bed. Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm going to sleep. Okay. What? No, it's not. It's safe under here. Why? No one can get me. It's safe out here, too. Well, it's safe out here, too. Did you see the size of this place? It's huge, and there are plenty of brick walls to keep us safe. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? Door's super sturdy. That door is really sturdy. Trust me. And no one's coming in. I tried to get out earlier today. It wasn't easy. I was going to say no one's coming in, but Violet walked into the room like it was nothing. I don't know. If I stay here, no one can find me, and I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. God, AJ. Hey, what's gotten into you? It's just full survival. Insane. Just cause Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. I'll be okay. I promise. You can stay under the bed, AJ. Okay, okay. You can sleep under the bed. But just use the fucking here, pillow. For your head. <laughs> Let me know if you get cold. I will. Okay. Good night, AJ. I trust him to be smart enough to not Clint? stay under there. Yeah. I'm glad we're not sleeping in the car anymore. I thought he was in the bed yeah. in that shot, actually. Me too. <laughs> Had to take his colored pencils away. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force him. I'm not gonna force him to sleep in a bed. What if it gives him back problems, huh? Like I don't know. He's gonna let us stay, right? Listening's a two-way street. I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. I get to follow you now with wasp. Up here. Nope.
Wait, maybe I do? Come on, Clem, this way. Yeah, I totally do. Yep. Hey, I get hey, to wasp Jay, around. Am I walking? No, I'm not. Okay. It <laughs> it looked like I was going to be able to walk around. Tintu. What the fuck? Got a little truck? Dude. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. You have toys? I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They even have a dog kennel. They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? Not around anymore. I've never seen one before. Died in the beginning. They all died a long time ago, trying to save everyone. Maybe not everyone. They were weak. No. What? No. They were brave. Maybe sh I should have picked the first one. No, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Whoa. Give it back. Hey, Jay. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. Honestly? It's not yours anymore. Turn it to ten. It is tens. It's mine. No, it's not. Fine. Why would you just take that? Thanks. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Why would you just take that, my dude? Do you know where Marlin is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Jeez, AJ, I let you sleep under the bed one night, and all of a sudden you're acting like the big badass around town. Look. Did you not just hear what I said? I said something. Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? I guess. That. Huh? Marlon? Oh, doggy. Okay, hi, doggy. It's fine. It's oh. Stay back. Yeah, I forgot. Clem has a thing. Uh, I actually don't really like backing up. I hey, hey. he's barking. I didn't do anything. Don't give her affection when she's doing that. You said dogs brought back bad memories. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't realize you were so scared. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. Mm. See, she's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. I've been around a lot of dogs like that. I'll show you. It's difficult to see the difference. Do you trust me? Gross. <laughs> yep. Okay, I guess. Don't hesitate, don't doubt it, Clem. Just do it. Get down on her level. Let her get your scent. There you go. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. No, you go in your bubble. Whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. That's how you do it. If you ever, if you ever want to become like really good so friends with uh with one of your friends or family's dogs or whatever, give them a command like that if they know the trick. Pretty cool. Just like the owner would do it. Will recognize you. Yep. She is really well trained. Exactly. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit. He bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. It's a boarding school then, is it? Like, you get... They live here. <laughs> Understatement of the century. I must have missed that part if they already stated it was, uh... Kids left. And that particular I style. If you and AJ were part of that. Ah. Uh, plenty capable, and we need that. Are they gonna sure. make me choose? Because I think yes. I don't see any bad. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. You guys need help. Hey, you guys need help. The greenhouse. You could grow food. Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. Why? We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. What happened? Bugs? But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Sounds lazy. Yeah, we uh we keep away from that now. Uh, 
can we not? Can we go grow things? Because then you only have to go one place for food. What's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. Okay, that's good. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. It sounds like they're relatively untouched, like we're one of the few people that have actually blown through here. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. Nice. I wanted this place to be hard to find. And it is. It's literally like in the middle of the woods. No place close to the it's roadway or here. anything. Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, I got a shack for storage right here. Right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. Okay, and then just the train station. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. And a grenade went off. Car. Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Yeah, a grenade. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. Yeah, it was the grenade. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years and food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? <laughs> His face. I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die. You gotta make the right plays, dude. I just <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if if I don't fix our food situation, and yeah, bad shit's gonna happen. I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much, friends, siblings. I I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah. Well, multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. What? Huh. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come off like a dick. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. That's what I was thinking you were thinking. So what do you need from us? Good. Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Okay. Uh, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. Hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Kind of want to go fishing. I'd like to go fishing, I think. Fish with Violet and Brody. I want to make sure that these guys are okay. The hunting grounds are well within the safe zone. And then the old shack is like right. And the river too is right on the border of the safe zone. These guys are going to be arguing a hell of a lot more. Like, And on top of that, fishing. Like if you, d if you do things the right way, sometimes you can encourage the fish to bite. Tr the trapping, hunting grounds, whatever. The no, it's not gonna make a difference if I go or not on the on the harvest. Like whatever's trapped there is gonna be trapped there, and that's that. So I'm gonna go with Violet and Brody. We're gonna go fishing. Yep. Okay. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Only you have one Thanks. copy. It's need all hands on deck crayon. More food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay. What? You think I was gonna throw you out? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, hey, AJ. As long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. High five. Okay, let's get going. See you around. Hopefully with fish. They have three rods or just two? Or am I gonna have to go make a stick and some twine? Do that. I just need a stick and twine. I'm actually excited to go fishing. This is going to be fun. I kind of want to go fishing in real life. It's been, it's been so fucking long since I've been fishing in real life. Last time I went fishing you know, was the I've summer that I got I into fly fishing. Go on a road trip oh my god, I want to go do that. Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. What are you talking about? Who took Mount Rushmore? To see. Maybe Clem could show us around. 
you're able to get a car working and you know how to drive you trust my driving I'm sure you trust my driving <laughs> i promise i don't usually crash <laughs> oh right on second thought yeah i think clem just totaled the last working car in the world so much for your road trip are we going to the car no bud it's broken good i'm sick of the car <laughs> Now nah, we're going to the truck now. I wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. Probably fix it up. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. Convertible? Run out of gas eventually. Good siphon it's gas. Still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> this is one thing I would be Where without if I was alone. If you could drive anywhere you wanted. If anywhere? Gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor, or flat tires, or the transmission. Winding mountain road. I'd drive up one of those long roads that wind around the mountains. Yep. Follow it all the way to the top. You could see over the whole world up there, I bet. Yeah. Get a nice view of the world while you die of frostbite. Sounds like the dream. Yeah, because on, all mountains go into the stratosphere. Violet. I've here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. She's got yeah. a point. I guess we should get to work on those fish. Yep. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's spear fishing, not rod. Or fly fishing. Or lure fishing, whatever. It's the cool kind. Where are those spears? Looks like there was one on my left right there. Why is the door covered in blood? About by. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Vi, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? You should talk to her. You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. <laughs> yeah, right. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. It never is, and it's always going to be rocky in the beginning. We all used to be friends. Guess I just kind of missed that. But when you showed up, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. <laughs> oh, there's the spears. Seriously, like, talking about that kind of shit is never easy. I mean, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? Oh, my God. Yeah, put this on my See shoulders. About me? It's just been eating me well, I, I don't know if it'll... Oh, okay. All right, I can do it. Sure thing, Brody. I can talk to her. Really? See what happens. That's great. Yeah. Thanks, Clementine. I'll see if I can get an actual opinion out of her, too. Downstream. We couldn't find the things that we needed, and then we found them, and now we're coming out. I'll take this device. There should be some extras lying around. All right, let's see if we can find the other spears. AJ, look for sharp, pointy sticks used for stabbing other living things, mainly fish. Are there any? Actually, I don't see any. Hey, you. What you looking at? V plus M. Oh, it's a it's violet and Minerva. Oh, oh yeah. Ah. Uh, it, it, I mean, it had to, it has to be them. There's no other V and M around here. There, the story's implying it. They were a couple. What? Violet was Minnie's girlfriend. Oh. Love. Yeah, love. Exactly. Exactly, love. Uh, but we need spears, AJ. We, we, there's one. Okay, I found one. I don't remember it being over there a second ago. Can I run in here? Yeah, I can. There's a couch going through the floor over there. God damn, man. Good reach and sharp, and also Ready looks badass. Yeah. Okay, let's go. We got four spears. I think we should be good, as long as we don't break any on the rocks. Don't fuck up! You fucked up! <laughs> Can I join you? Sure. Okay, I'll just be back here. Hey, Talking right guys. before you go for that spear. They're swimming against the current. Guess they don't realize it makes them easier targets. I want to try. Take a spear. Go nuts. 
I want to go spear fishing someday. That would be so much fun. And before I stab myself in the foot and become one of those YouTubers that creates a vlog with me going to the hospital from doing something really stupid. Like trying to play Fruit Ninja in real life. Okay, am I at? Yep. Yeah. I was like, am I actually going to spear him? Something good enough for me. Looks like a meal. Hey, it looks like it's big ass fish, man. Hell yeah, it's a meal. Hey, I'm sorry if I was weird last night about the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there, uh, it was harder than I expected. I picked up on that. I think I'd be less sentimental by now. <laughs> I understand. There are people I still miss too. It never really gets easier. Yeah. It really doesn't. You just get more used to it. You know, it doesn't really ever get easier. You just get more used to it. Alright, where's the fishy? Fishy, 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 where are you at? Fishy, 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 stop! Fish! Okay, alright, this one ain't gonna stop for me. This one ain't gonna stop for me. Here we go, and boom. I don't know if I'm supposed to lead the target. Heads up, guys. The hole's not looking that great. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. God. Sometimes she just gets on my last nerve. You know? Yeah, I can tell. I mean, it's... It's not like I hate her. I just... <clears throat> I wish we could all go on a road trip together. She definitely thinks you hate her. Oh my god. That's, that was the easiest way I could think to try to come up with a fucking... With something, you know? The mouse moves kind of weird. It's like really slippery in, in this crosshair. I thought I missed that one. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe Brody had better luck with the traps. We got a lot of fish. What are you talking about? I got, I got three. One. You got one. Clem, AJ got, got one. <laughs> Good job. We got like I think we got five or six, like including whatever she got. Brody downstream. I don't know why it's like this. A lot of fucking fish. So weird. I can never relax around her. Never said sorry. It's getting worse. Maybe because she never said sorry. Open the door so for her to apologize. Not being able to save them. Did she tell you that? Mm, more or less. She wants to talk about it, you know. And so do you, I because you're talking to me about it. I feel guilty about the whole thing. Why? I was supposed to be out with the twins that day. I wanted to work in the greenhouse, so I asked Brody to cover for me. But then... I didn't even get to say goodbye. I, I wanted to talk to Brody, to tell her I didn't blame her for what happened, but every time I tried, I was reminded of who we lost. It was easier to just not talk about it. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. What, what the fuck are you doing? We caught a lot of we fish! We catch up with Lewis and Asim, see if they had any better luck. We caught literally 12 fillets of fish. Big ass fish. The Grand Canyon. What? That's where I'd go. If we took a road trip. There you go, Violet. Driving until we hit the Grand Canyon. Yeah. That would be cool. Oh, God. I really hope that they find a way to work it out. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks. Yep. Hey, you slow folks coming? Yeah. We're right behind you. Goodbye, abandoned shack with a couch through the floor and a bloody door. Hopefully they did find some stuff on the traps. I don't know how many people are in this camp, but they make it seem like it's like 30 people or something like that. Like between 20 and 30 is my guess. We haven't met all of them, I'm assuming. It's just we're focusing on the characters that we see. But all in all, the fish, this is more than enough food for us, at least for a, a day. Guys? Practicing making out with a toothless walker. Gross. I know. Poor walk. <laughs> what the hell? What? What? This isn't normal? Someone sabotaged this. This isn't good. A Sam? Lewis! Shit. Spread out. See if we can find them. We have weapons? Watch out for monsters. Damn. So hoping we find them. Don't, don't 
Empty. Yeah, don't, don't, no, no, no. Uh, examine it, yeah, examine the cigarette butt. Is this a Bible page? Clem, found something. And rolled cigarette in the Bible page. One of the walkers. The jaw's all fucked up. Guys, over here. Got spear through it. What? Well, we didn't kill this one. We wouldn't have left it hanging in our trap. What the hell? Or with the spear in its mouth, probably. Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. Who is this unlucky fella? Where have you been? Well, we found him. Checking nearby traps. The ones that were sprung were all empty. All the rest are broken. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. It's just a panic attack. Take a second. Breathe in deep. And hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? No, Clem, don't fire back. I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. She knows. She has to know. And so does Marlon. They both have to know. Why would she... I'll take this haul back to school. And maybe we can ration out something. So what do we do? Eat rocks? We can't eat rocks. We caught I'm six aware. fish and a rabbit. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? No. Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? Let me think. You know, I wouldn't... <laughs> okay, I guess we could go back to the train station. I wouldn't mind going to the greenhouse to check and see if there's any edibles the there. Station. It's not too far from here. Maybe, but if you guys grew season, roots, like they're probably not rotted. I pass through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. It's out of the safe zone. Or we could starve. There's that too. Everybody looks in agreement. Fine. Let's go. Okay. All right. It looks like nobody wants to starve. Me either. Oh, shit. Okay, my theory is that, um, is that they have to know what's going on here because it, why would it induce such a, such a panic attack in her? You know, such a, such a reaction. That's a, that's a lot of zombies. That's a, that's a whole lot of zombies. There, that's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. I wonder why. Maybe it was because of the giant grenade. We're... either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Who said we're gonna die? Maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Yeah, let me get on top of the train. Can't be too careful. High ground first. Um the only thing that I could think of We barely got out of here. It was close. Probably the bell. So scary. There's a reason. Yeah. We could send them around the flank. Could climb up there. I don't know how that would get us inside. The bell will totally get you inside, I bet. I mean, you got the bell. That bell to a Could try it again. They do like to follow sound. It's gonna be all of them, so the moment I ring that bell, it's on. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it, Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Okay, I'm all ears. You're loud. Dramatic, a little annoying. You got this. Basically a walking distraction. You got this. Okay, Prince Charming, let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. <laughs> I'll go with you. Give you some cover. I'm not gonna follow through with it. I just want him to do what I want him to do. <laughs> but if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then. I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck to you. <laughs> Bellman. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is, uh... Hey, ugly. No, not you. Avoid not the... You Avoid the walkers? Fine. Make you right over here. 
Can I stun him? Yeah, I can. Okay. It's like, avoid the walkers, but one is coming right for me, my dudes. I don't want to touch this barrel at all. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta hide. Is there one still coming for me? No. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I was just gonna run past him. He was too close for me to want to make a noise. Alright, let him know. Good luck, Lewis! Time for us to try to move past. Shit! I don't know. Come on, come on. He's taking more than a minute. Fucking Lewis. Just give him a second. Shit. We may not have a second. I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Uh... Oh, thank God. Okay, we're good. We're good. I love how he's oh, smacking the bell into the fucking Jane, the train car. It's like the bell isn't loud enough. Alright, nice and quick. Anybody I have to dispatch? Doesn't look like it. I'm not gonna sprint. I don't know if there's uh <gasps> Goodbye, crawler. And where's the door at? Am I gonna have to go into their field of view? I think we're good. You might wanna I don't know why you weren't on my six like right away. So these guys would still be alive right now. If, uh, if we hadn't killed him earlier. I wonder how that would play differently. What the hell? These will be perfect. Plim, look. Three full bags of fucking... What? Try it out. See if it works. It probably does. Nice. I don't know if that was such a great idea, considering the fact that there's a lot of zombies out there. But, nice. Still got your gun. I'm just gonna throw this out there. I highly doubt that there's anything alive anymore uh, occupying that space after the, you know, the grenade. Everything just vaporized down there. Food including. Aren't they attracted to light? Shouldn't we turn the lantern off? Maybe put it down in the hole in the ground? AJ, are you alive? Okay. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Nice. Alright, we got a big thing of rice. Keep it coming. How much food could have been down there if some of it was actually salvaged? Alright, he's just gonna hand them out one by one and I'm gonna have to try to be quick of it. Make sure I don't miss anything. There we go. What the hell is that? Mayonnaise? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's calories. I'll take it. Or rice. Rice for days. Stand. Ah, shit. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. Oh, my God. I don't have to. Who are you? Who are you? The name's Abel. And I'm hungry as hell. I believe it. You got the, uh... Oh, what's that called? Synesthesia? Is that what it's called? Where you got two different color eyes? You and your friends made a lot of noise out there. The grenade? That was like three days ago. You live close by. You knew about this place already. You got the cigarette smoking already. Get inside. So you probably also knew the stash was there. I've seen those cigarettes before. You messed up our traps, didn't you? Guilty as charged. But it was an honest mistake. I can be a real butterfinger sometimes. You had fine work with that other- Okay, you wanna take one, that's fine. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group. Count you plus the two outside. Ah. Uh, Maybe more? Does have a lot of questions. You tell me about yours first. Tell me about your group first. <laughs> uh, I miss the days when we were in all so goddamn cagey. You have your finger Just on the trigger of a single action 45. And you're calling me KG. Ugly and hungry. There's food in there. I'm gonna fill this pack real 
little slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Shit. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I Shit. Do you know? Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me. He's gonna shoot him, right? Let me go, my Mary. Oh God. <laughs> Just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. I think I'm gonna attack him. You wouldn't let a hunger man starve, now would you? No. AJ's already hesitated, and I didn't tell him to aim I for the head. Want to do this. I don't want him to shoot. AJ, get down! Come on! Fuck him up, zombie! Fuck him up! What the fuck? Just take a bag and. Guy died. I, I kind of did it. Time to get the fuck out of here. I didn't want a gun to go off there. I did not want a gun to go off. Woo! Hey, that's a lot more than there were there before. Meat Cleaver's doing work. We stun or we kill. Okay, all right. E is kill now. E is kill. Nice. Cheryl's. Still can't get over the fact he calls that fucking thing Cheryl's. Okay, I told AJ to not hesitate. I told him to not hesitate. I didn't tell him to aim for the head. There's no guarantee the guy would have gotten, like, there's no way knowing that he would have died in the shot before he hit the ground. He could have pulled the trigger. Listen to me. I am telling you, the place is ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. That's no, no. And pushing him out the window literally worked the way it it should have. The only thing that Clem could have done better was disarm the revolver, or like open the drum on it so it wouldn't it wouldn't function. A Sam, Mitch, check it out. Food. It's rice. Everybody, you get rice. Then you get rice. Then you get rice. There's so much rice. You are a savior, Clem. Sushi for the rest of forever. Spear fishing. I get that a lot. It was a team effort. Lewis and Violet helped too. Yep. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither because you guys have a safe zone. Yeah, we can go inside the where safe zone. These bad oh, things have him. Clem knew where it was. Train station. That's outside the safe zone. We have even more. No shit. But we ran into the creep that fucked up our rabbit traps. I killed him. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty ass Bible cigarettes. Yeah. He had weird, different colored eyes. Yeah. I killed him. I had a feeling you knew him. Yep. He's dead now. Did he follow you? Nope. He's dead. Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. It took a chunk out of him. It was awesome. <laughs> Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. Yeah, he spent all of his bullets him? trying to. What the fuck? The fuck if he you? survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. I pushed him into a pack of walkers. What the hell were you thinking? He bled out. He's. Oh, this is fucked. How could you be so stupid? He had a gun and he was holding if it to AJ's what face. I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit. What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. He got eaten by he walkers. There's no evidence of another group being there. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. I don't mean to be mean, but no fucking you shit. Can't be serious! Go somewhere and talk about this. Jesus. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. Okay, yeah, not the loose cannon with the crazy fucking temper. Nearly lost her shit over some traps what? being fucked up in the woods. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But. Shit. God. Nothing's easy. 
everyone came back alive. No one died. You don't have to worry. Everyone, well, not no one died. Everyone came back alive. I can't help it. And you rightfully should. <laughs> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Glenn. You guys should go enjoy it. You burned it. What were the other two options? Have him shoot or put the gun down, AJ? Those were the other two options, right? Don't sweat it, Glenn. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. That makes sense. That was the She'll last right That was the last time Still, that you guys went out, we right? Make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. How do you guys think food is made? You don't just go clean up. You don't go and pick jars of rice off the jar of rice tree like you have to go find stashes. Too. See you later. You gotta scavenge in fucking Don't buildings and stuff. They're just sad. Yeah. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? That's a good question. Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Can't really say anything to that. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. AJ is adorable. And happy. All of us together. I couldn't really say anything on that one. I wish I had more colors. I was trying to pick one, but I figured if I couldn't, it would just end in silence. The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably look. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can can I be there? Sure. Hey, Jay. <laughs> you want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. You just got to hold still. Yeah, you can draw me in. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Smile. Okay, here you go. It's yours. It's ours. Ten's got some real talent. He really do drew Clem. Like, he did a good job. Yeah. You guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Night. See you tomorrow. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> what a day, man. We caught enough food, I thought. And then all that shit went down. Based on the other options that were there, I couldn't. I couldn't see a way where that guy's group doesn't somehow come back into the mix. I don't feel like that was a one-time venture, like, nope. or a one-time interaction. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. I can't remember the specific rule, but it got in bed. it says in like, oh shit, he is in bed. I'll talk more about that later at the end of the episode. I think. Because that's like a point I want to develop on. I got to kill fish. Yeah, you got to stab him with a stick. She was having a good time. It's nice not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice too. Before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Yep. 
or Did any other like place it? that burned down. I like it. Now that I'm used to it. There's games and the walls make it feel safe. I do feel safe here. I do. I really do. It's good to feel safe somewhere. There. You gotta stay up two minutes more. <laughs> for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right. Give me a minute. All right, let's see if there's anything else. Place new collectibles in the room. Let's do that. I don't think there would have been anything else. A good He's a good artist. He is. This picture is good too. Oh, I know. And I put. Wait a minute. Yeah, let's look at AJ's. So cute. I was wondering if I could put anything else up. Me protecting Clem. AJ's adorable. What is this? Anything? Nah, I can't look at it. All right. Well, I think it is time for bed. But let me just poke around. And Make sure I'm not missing anything. What's in the backpack? So used to lugging this everywhere. Never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. I guess that was like her perma inventory. Like in any nomadic kind of game where you just roam around everywhere. You got your one pack. Alright, AJ. Get a good night's sleep, okay? Uh, wait a minute. Actually, can I talk to him at all? Can I talk to him right now? Because that's he's got a dot on his thing. Uh, let me see. There's nothing else, right? It's just AJ? Yeah. Okay. What what can I do with you, AJ? I'm not sleepy. Okay. <sighs> Liar. You want to talk about stuff? Or is that it? Yeah, I guess that's it. Alright. Time to go to bed. Nighty night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Literally, there might be bed bugs in there. This place has not Nighty been vacuumed in five years. Don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time. Everything rhymes. <laughs> Good work. And thanks. Out like a light. God damn. Oh, boy. What a day. So, tensions are probably going to be on. <gasps> I completely forgot. I completely forgot about her finger. Oh my god, dude. I feel like tensions are going to be like really, really on edge for a little while, maybe the next week or so. Just because of the time of year that it is with the sisters dying around this period. I don't know. It's got to be Brody arguing. What the Yeah. There's voices in the pipes. There are. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. Is it Marlin that grabbed Brody's arm earlier? You got your gun. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Okay, AJ. I'll be right back. See you soon. Stay safe. Shit. All right, let's do it. Nothing else I can really grab in here, I don't think. Wait, can I look at my backpack? No. Okay, I was going to be like, can I can I grab a knife or something like that before I go out here? But negatory. It really sounds like somebody needs some help, though. And do I have, like, directional sound? Sounds like he's coming from the left then. Follow the noise. Assuming it's over this way. Feels like it's getting louder. Just a little farther. Through one of the no, 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 no. Through the door, yeah. There we go. Basement. I would blow out the candle before I went down there. That's what I thought. It's locked from both sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. Mm. Silver door out in the yard. Through those doors? Okay, perfect. I was wondering if I had to go around. Looks like it's gonna be right here. Whoever's down there doesn't sound very good. And if it is Brody, that's not how you talk sense into someone that has like, you know, borderline PTSD or or some. Oh my God, that's a loud storm. Or, you know, some form of a, uh, of, I don't know, a, a panic apprehension, like a phobia or something like that. 
should be another entrance to the basement around here. Is it like a cellar? Is that what we're looking for? Like it was uh, to the left, but do I need to go through the gate to find it? There it is. There, wait, 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 grab the brick. Always grab a weapon. I now have a brick. It is heavy. <laughs> Thank you, game, for that, that wonderful description of the brick. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. That way I know when I'm reaching into my backpack what I'm grabbing. Is this heavy? Yes, it is. This is probably the brick. Got a lock on the thing. I can smash it. Uh, I don't know if I want to smash it, but I don't see anything else that I could use. Q. Q. That was pretty loud. That was, um, that was pretty loud. I'm hoping that nobody heard that. This is uh, literally the THX intro. I'm trying to be stealthy here. Oh shit, loading screen. Oh no, that's how you know it's gonna go down. Oh no. Oh no, look at that camera pan. Oh my god. What are we about to find? What is gonna happen? I know they knew! He's dead! I, it's me. I don't know why I walk closer to you guys. Hi. Did you not hear me like break the padlock with a brick? About the guy that I pushed into some. You two woke me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You two woke me up. I was asleep. You guys woke me up. So sorry about that. I didn't think anyone would hear us. I did. Want to tell me what's going on? I heard it. I don't know why Clem's playing dumb. Go back to the dorm. Don't shine that in my light like a cop. Or in my face. You know what I mean? I'm tired. I just woke up. We got history. Rhodey, don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. You just she had gritted teeth. Sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Let her speak. Let her speak, asshole. Uh, excuse me? I want to hear what she has to say. How do you know that guy? Marlin let him take the twins. Him and his people. What? Sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. What? That's the story we told everyone. Jesus Christ. Because Marlin was so ashamed of what she Oh my god. Oh hell no. Uh, what'd you say? Oh my god. Oh my god, this fucking guy. What have you done? You're gonna be okay. I promise. God damn it! Help! What? I told you not to say it! You fucking broke her skull! What can I do? How? What can I do? Just do you have any idea? Just stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere. I don't think she survives this. Aid kit? Jesus Christ, man. Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Oh my God, dude. Clementine, remember? We talked about driving up into the mountains, where you could see everything. Clouds. Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. I want to say this. Brody, if there's a threat to AJ, you have to tell me. Everything is so faint. I can't feel my legs. Please, try and focus. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let him take you. Jesus. To, to make him go away. Like he did. Like he did with ten sisters. 
Brody. Oh, fuck. What a fuck sack. Can we kill him now? Do. You? She's gonna turn. Marlin! Oh no. Marlin, you son of a bitch! Don't do this! I'm sorry. I can't let you talk to me. Oh my god, what the f It in there and lift up the latch. Oh my god, dude. What the f I can't find anything in this dark. Dude, I didn't think it was that bad until it showed Marlin's face and he had the blood spatter on it and Oh shit, dude. Why? This was going so well. Why does everybody have to turn out to be a goddamn psychopath? Why? Can I pick up this tiny little thing down here? No, I can't. I'm stuck in here with the zombie now. AJ, I love you. I might die, though. God damn it. On both sides. Yeah. And I hear Brody now. I hear Brody. I hear Brody. Oh, my God. All right, we're going for the flashlight. It was worth it to check that, though. To check every corner. Jesus, do I have a, a, a knife or anything? I don't think I do. Okay, grab the flat. Can we grab the flashlight without? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Shit. It's malfunctioning because of the huge blow that it took when it smashed through Brody's skull. Oh my god, man. Yes, this will work. This is perfect. And there's going to be a zombie coming soon, right? I would imagine. Oh my god. When did this turn into Resident Evil, man? Nice and easy. Shit. Alright, we check as many corners as we can. I don't actually remember... Oh, is this her right here? Yeah, she's at this corner, isn't she? She's right there, yep. I thought I saw moving on the other side of the... I'm sorry, Brody. Shit. We don't have anything that we could really finish her with. So we're just going to have to get out of here. Oh my god, Brody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thunder made me drop it? Oh my god, that is frightening as all shit. Q! So many Qs! -y! Please don't let me die. Run! Oh, 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 oh my god! That was so fucking scary! What the fuck? Yes, give me flashlight. And unironically let me bash her in the in the head with it. Finish the job that Brody or that uh that Marlin started. I'm sorry, Brody. The light turned red! Fucking telltale! Get the hell out of here! That's insane, man. Oh my god. Uh, you know there was one writer at the table that was like, what if on like the third hit the the flashlight turned red? And everyone was like, oh, oh. oh my god, Brody. I'm sorry. I'd like to go kill that asshole now. Oh, don't tell me that's the credits. I swear to god, if that I'm gonna don't you dare. Okay, all right, I was gonna Where's AJ? Put the gun down. Get this fucking psycho away from me. Where is she? she she's in the basement. She murdered Brody. This this fucking prick. What? I'm gonna have to talk my way out of this one. Watch this. Hold my fucking beer. Open. That's a lie! I saw you kill her! 
the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! Yeah, you locked me down there with her when she turned. You fuckstick. Can I have my response opportunity? He just headbutted AJ! What the fuck? And how is it threatening to hold a pistol in the air like that? We saved their lives when anyone else would have kept walking. We fed them. We kept them warm. And this is how they thank us. Guns being pulled in. Murder! Well, fuck them! Fuck Morland! Jesus Christ. You can't trade me yet. You shoot me? What do you offer up to your raider friends when they come knocking? What the hell is she talking about? Yeah, exactly. Because he needs us alive. Shut up! Brody told me Marlin was gonna give me and AJ up to raiders in exchange for safety. The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie. Boom! Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, Clementine! What are you gonna do about it? Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her. Oh, cut him the fuck on! They only met up with these raiders because Clem insisted they go out there. Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Why are you quoting past victories, not dealing with the believe? situation at hand? Johnny come lately and a little fucking lunatic? Or me? Your friend? Your friend? That was a very friendly tone of voice that you he said it. Is just gonna come along and take Yo, I'm gonna talk to Violet on this one. You believe me. You don't. You met her like two days ago. Oh God. I don't know you, Clem. Not really. God damn it. I'm sorry. So you'll let Marlin shoot me? Seriously? I should have said, and you'll never, you never will. In your head. Hey. What would Minnie want you to fuck? Fuck this guy! So Stupid mullet motherfucker! Clem, I. Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. If you were there that day those raiders came? He would have abandoned you too! Ooh. Oh, <laughs> ah, my relationship with Violet has changed. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Marlon. Be reasonable. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! 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 No doggy! No! I don't. You don't understand at all. I don't want the doggy to be included. In Marlin's fucked up I'm psychopathy. All of you. How does pointing a loaded gun around protect anyone? Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. They came back. I do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expendable. They dick. told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave he admitted it. Away. Done. Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted he you. He should have sacrificed himself, but he is a coward. Because he's a coward. I wanted to get them. States some kind of rescue rescue Honest, Ted, I just couldn't I was, I was too afraid you killed Brody because she knew I didn't mean to I didn't want this I wanted to save all of you Sophie his guards down right now I didn't want to hurt them <laughs> Come on. Oh my god! No! No! I didn't realize I had to do a Q thing! E! Q! E! Jesus, what is happening? E! Maurice! 
Fuck you, Marla. I don't give a shit if you don't forget this, you asshole. I'm gonna tape you to a fucking bed. Better tape than you tape me. You're goddamn right, you're done. I'm done. I don't give a shit if he remembers it. Marlon's gonna remember this. You're going in the basement. You're getting thrown into the basement until we can figure out what to do with you. Fine. Fine. Enjoy your friend. You win. I can't. See you later, asshole. I don't care. Oh, <gasps> AJ, what the? I thought it was the Raiders. AJ, what the? AJ, that was a no-no. I didn't hesitate. Oh, you are so in for them. Oh my God, no! 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 Can't stop them. There's a son of a bitch. Why did you have to end it like that? This fucking game, man. God damn it! No, AJ! We were doing so good! So good! Why did we have to shoot the guy? <laughs> oh, you know... Uh, I don't feel as bad about him getting uh, elbowed in the balls. But... I have a feeling we're gonna have to do a little damage control. On that particular incident, oh my god. Okay, guys, let's uh, let's let's go through the choices. You and 58% of players killed the walker couple in the train station. 42% of players chose to let AJ go through the window inside the train station. Based on what we saw after that, there were no zombies or walkers inside of that area. However, uh, there was the trap door, um, and also the the later scene could have played out differently. Um, with the, uh, the retrieval of what was left after the grenade blast. So that, that would be interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, let me see here. You and 50, uh, 52% of players went fishing with Violet and Brody. 48% of players went hunting with Lewis. Um, and Asim, I'm, again, my mentality on it was I can put more work in the stream than I can trying to harvest things that have already been caught, you know, overnight. Um... And it's actually pretty cool that we went that way. I wonder if the Raiders would have been discovered on the fishing side of things. Or, like, how that would have played out, you know? If we would have found the cigarette, like... I don't know. I don't know. That would have been interesting. You and 34% of players let AJ sleep under the bed. I'm not gonna... I took away his colored pencils. I'm not gonna let... 66% of players convince AJ to sleep on the bed. If he really wanted to, right? If he really wanted to. If that's what's comfortable to him, man. If he feels safer and he's gonna get a better night's sleep on the floor... Fucking go for it. There are nights where I will sleep on the floor because of my back, so it's A-OK -okay in my eyes. Uh, you and 78% of players attacked Abel rather than giving him food. 22% of A uh, players surrendered food to Abel. So here's the way I thought it was going to go. I thought that regardless of what I did, a shot was going to be fired. If I told AJ to shoot, I had a feeling that AJ was going to shoot. If I, if I, uh, uh, if I just asked AJ to lower the gun or whatever, then I felt like Abel was going to at some point, at some point, um, re retaliate or, or, you know, break walkers loose on us or something like that. We also had friends outside. He was asking about the group, uh, very threatening, accused us of being cagey when he's the one pointing a loaded fucking single action 45 at our face. Like, no thank you. Um, and pushing him out the window was the, the like, if anything happened shots wise, we at least had the cover of the exterior of the building as long as we were out of the, uh, the, the line of fire that would come from the window. And obviously he used whatever rounds he had to try to put the zombies down that were around him. And the way that it looked, he got pretty chomped up. If he didn't get chomped up, then that's, that's not really my bad. That's the zombies bad. You and 66% of players turned to Violet for help against Marlin. 34% of players turned to Luis for help against Marlin. I feel like a lot of people might have just had a stronger connection to Violet for some reason. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I just, I felt like I talked to her more. Uh, I felt like I had more opportunity to get to know her and uh, a lot of other things. It just, it, it, like, I felt like I had the stronger relationship with her. And then she was like, I don't even know you. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, the other guy doesn't know me at all. So that was going to be pretty interesting to see how that played out. God damn, man. What a run of choices. What an episode. 10 was, uh, 
You and 49% uh, left 10 feeling bitter. Uh, 10 was understanding of your hesitancy when you first met him, and when you allowed him to draw you, he generously gifted you his drawing. Why is he still bitter, though? Like, that, I, I don't know why he would be bitter. You left 66% uh, uh, of players uh, left Violet feeling guilty. Uh, she was pleased after you complimented her fighting skills, and Violet was flattered after you comforted her in the dorm rooms. Uh, let me see here. We have 66% of players leaving Louis feeling heartbroken. When you told him about killing a loved one, he sympathized with your pain. There has to be more that evolves with him. AJ uh, feeling pragmatic. AJ was resolved to sleep under the bed after the first night at the school. And he slept in the bed in the second night. He slept in the bed the second night. Uh, and he was satisfied when you attacked Abel at the train station. No shit. I wonder why. Uh, Brody dead. Uh, Brody felt grateful when you resolved the conflict between her and... Was there a way that she made it out without dying? Dudes, are you kidding? Uh, she was appalled when you downplayed the encounter with Abel. Oh my god, man. And Marlon is dead. Marlon was enraged when you fought him in the courtyard, and he felt proud when you trusted him with Rosie. I don't know, man. He made a questionable choice, and he kept it from a lot of people, and there's not much that you can do with that. Glad you checked in with him on dinner. He's distinguished by AJ's bad manner. Uh, di disgusted by AJ's. Bad manners. You didn't get to know Mitch very much, Asim. I uh, was glad that you stopped AJ from reading his journal. You learned how to bond with Rosie with Marlon's help. I feel bad for Rosie at this point, like losing your owner. Her, well, her secondary owner, her handler, her handler. Uh, Willie was fascinated uh, by you when you met him for the first time. I think Rosie is going to be with us now. It's going to be interesting. Uh, we got a couple. Are these the collectibles? You collected three out of six items during this episode. Yeah, so I... <gasps> no! I. Oh, it was this one. Okay, I was like, no, I already grabbed the skull. But it's the first one, and then there's two... Fuck, I missed a few things. I tried to get all those, but I guess I couldn't. I guess I couldn't. What a fucking episode, man. My brain. My, I am fried. Like, I... And the next episode comes out in two weeks, so you know that's going to be a good time. Okay, we're back on the menu. There's no, like, next time on The Walking Dead or whatever. I think they stopped doing that after, like, the third season. But I would just like to reiterate, everybody, if, um, you know, if for whatever reason you chose to watch this without watching the other seasons, if you want to catch up on the stories and whatnot, it is a, it's a great game to, to, to see. Check the description down below for those links uh, and whatnot. But what I was saying earlier is, and obviously the Raiders did come back into the mix, right? Uh, see, when, when you have a story or when you have something that's in film and you have let's say you're presented a piece of information or or a uh, or or an item that is related to a person individual or a group and then let's say that a little time passes and you see another item relating to that person group or you know a note or a piece of clothing whatever you guys get what i'm trying to say uh when you when you're dealing with when you're dealing with uh stories the rule is typically that if you see it a second time, it will be back for a third time. So our first encounter was obviously when we found the traps that were uh, sabotaged and we found the cigarette that was rolled in the Bible page. Uh, the second encounter uh, and, and kind of like an encounter and a half was the way that they alluded to the Raiders uh, or, or whoever this group was and, uh, and, and how worried Brody was over it. Just like completely consumed in the idea that, that this guy still existed. Um, I thought that it was an individual, but then we found out obviously that it was the Raiders. So they are going to be um, in a sense, probably the antagonists of the remainder uh, of this season. Uh, the, the main antagonist in this episode was obviously uh, Marlin because it's like, I mean, the dude trades little kid sisters to the Raiders and like that's fucking that's fucked up in itself. But then lying about it and not coming clean as a, being a coward and unfit to lead like or at least taking the the I don't know how to put it. The the certain route that would end up in. I, I don't know, man. Like he he's just not he led them on for so long. And while I don't know if he deserved to get shot. In the especially in the back of the head, pain free fucking you know ending, pretty much to a terrible existence. I think he should have gone down in the basement. Um, regardless, he's not anyone that I think I would want to have around, which is why I chose to put him in the basement. And I, it's it's gonna be oh my god, this next episode is gonna be insane to see what the reaction is with AJ 
and you know how he's ve he's very impulsive he's a survivor and it's like we did tell him not to hesitate but at that point he had been disarmed he had been talked to he got down on the ground he got back up everybody was chill we sent him to the basement and then aj's like don't hesitate <laughs> You know, I, I don't know, man, like it, it, he de I think he hesitated. I think that it was a little past that moment of opportunity when he should have opened fire. Uh, the other thing that I was surprised about, though, was the fact that we did not pick up the gun. We went for the gun, but I don't know how I don't know where it came from. I lost track of the gun in that situation. I had assumed that we had it. But then obviously he gets shot here. I am thinking that, you know, it's going to be like the Raiders rushing in um, and uh, and that's going to be the end of the episode. But no, it's fucking AJ. He's standing there holding a goddamn gun. It's like, I don't know, man. I'm going to have to go back and watch that again. But regardless, this episode has just been absolutely amazing. I, I've i been waiting for this game for a very long time to come back. As you guys probably already know, this, this first episode has been out for a little while. The next one's going to come out in about two weeks, week and a half, something like that. Uh, so you guys can expect it fairly soon. And then the subsequent episodes after that will be about every two months-ish, something like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, regardless, you guys, this game, it's going to have one hell of a send off. So I hope that all you guys are buckled up. Please, if you made it this far, leave a like down below, check the description for all the social medias and all that jazz. Again, thank you all so very much for welcoming back me with open arms to YouTube. I know this is my second video back and like, I don't want to dwell on it. If you, if you want to hear a little bit more of what I had to say, then check the video earlier today. I believe it was my summer car. Uh, but regardless, you guys, thank you so much for the support. Like I said, if you made it this far, please leave a like down below, support the series, and I will catch all of you in the next one. So friends, if you enjoy what you see, and only if, leave a little love in the comment section or leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the rest of whatever the hell comes next. And as usual, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys again.